Linda Israel here. The scent of the day is Rose Zinfandel. I put a brand new cube in. As you can see, it's a large cube. I want to show you that it's almost one and a half inches square. So it's a large cube that lasts a really long time. This is a soy wax melt. I've got it in my JIC warmer. And I keep one in my room, in my studio, so I can enjoy it while I'm creating. Today I am working with the Brutus Monroe, Monroe Birthday Bear. So it's a really cute little bear here that has all kinds of like a birthday cake and the little noisemaker and a cupcake. And he's got a little sidekick bunny rabbit. And he's got balloons and we're going to make a little greeting card. I have keep mine in a storage folder so I know what they look like. I haven't put all the labels on here yet, but I need to do so. And that way it's an easy way to store these. They're sold in the Brutus Monroe shop. There are 25 for $17.95 or you can or $99. You can get more if you so choose. Check out the link in my description box. For this card, I think what I want to do is I'm going to stamp the bear with the balloons. Getting my misty out here. I've pre cut a piece of paper that I want to stamp on. What I like about the clear stamps, especially with the misty, <clears throat> or you can use other devices like this, is I can lay out all of the stamps where I want them and pick them all up at once. Pick them all up at once and then I can stamp them at one time. Especially if I want to make a bunch of cards, then I can just load up pieces of paper and stamp and stamp and stamp and then sit down and color. So we're just going to do one today. Do one more inking here. I've got a few of the chameleon markers out here that I'm going to use to color with. I've got the NU4, this is caramel, so I'm going to color the bear this color. And <clears throat> with these particular markers, you can choose to add the colorless to it so that it goes from a very light color on into the dark. So I'm going to do that for this little bear around some of the outer areas. I've got another color here. This is NU1 Bisque. I've got the pink, peony pink. I'm going to use this to color the balloons. I've got YL2. It's a summer sun. It's a yellow. I'm going to use that to color the other two balloons. I've got the Cornflower blue. I'm going to use that to color this little blue bird. That's what color is going to be to me. BL4. I'm going to add a little of this caramel to its belly. I've got the aubergine from Brutus Monroe, and I'm going to use that around the edges of this little card that I've made so far. I've got a pre cut A2 size greeting card. That's going to be my base. And then I have a piece of scrapbook paper that's kind of a purple in color. I'm going to use the aubergine around the edge of this. I'm going to adhere this to the card base with Aline's tacky glue. I'm using my bone folder to help spread the glue under the piece of paper. That helps smooth out any bumps that the glue may have made. I have this pretty little die cut that I made with my Vagabond in a die that I got off of eBay. I think that'll look pretty on there. So I'm going to use the Zig 2A glue on the back side of this die cut. I've got a few of these little dimensionals. Uh, this kind is from Stampin' Up! So I'm going to put a few of these on the back of my bear in balloons because I think it'll look cute popped up on my card. Now sometimes if your card's feeling a little flat, if you add 
a little dimensional dot and it'll make it stand up a little bit and give it a little dimension and make it look a little bit cuter. I have some little hemp cord that I got on my recent trip to New Mexico and I thought this would make a cute little bow. I'm just going to adhere it with some white glue. I've got some of these little dimensional pearls. I thought they might look pretty added to the card as well. These have an adhesive strip holding them to the backer. So I'm taking a pair of scissors and cutting them apart. And then I have a pair of tweezers that I'm using to pull them off the backing. I've learned if I twist them and then pick them up, then they're easier to handle. So there's a little card using the Birthday Bear stamp from Brutus Monroe and some chameleon markers to color it. A little die that I used through my Vagabond from Tim Holtz. Some little bling or pearls that I added on there. Some hemp cord that I tied into a bow. I hope you enjoyed this little card that I made today. Please give this video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. Comment below if you have any questions or any comments that you would like to make about this card today. If you have any questions about where I got these items, leave a message below. Check out the links in the description box. Thank you so much for watching today. Have a blessed day. Bye.